This video needs no introduction, but a simple narration with the credible information. Hi guys, my name is Raymond and you're welcome to Boxy Blockster. So let's just get straight to it, no time to waste. You know, I've been kind of wondering um, about something, you know, just, you know, sometimes you just look around and you look around the boxing world and the boxing scene and you know you see what fighters are doing but it seems to me that two fighters right now namely Anthony Joshua and uh, Khalil Alvarez you know he of course recently beat up uh, Khalil Smith in a one-sided fight who wish wasn't even expected I didn't expect him to beat Khalil Smith up like that but he did it and that's why he's the number one pound for pound fighter right now despite is you know of course the rumors around it that of course about the Mexican meat or something like that but this guy you cannot doubt that this guy's got talent I mean he's the real deal it's a complete package um Carlo Alvarez is not getting his props and that reminds me that just um, that just reminds me of Adam Joshua like Joshua might not be as talented as as Carlo Alvarez Joshua is still not the finished article yet but he's he's trying yet a lot, there are, there are a majority of the, you know, of the boxing fans, a lot of the boxing fans don't appreciate these two fighters out here. A lot of haters. I want to ask my brother, Todd Jack Bay, why is there so much hate towards Anthony Joshua and, um, Canelo Alvarez, bro? You see, with these two, it's very important that I point something out, how important they are that individually what each of them have has accomplished right both of them both both of them having a loss you know um both of them um, coming up short in certain fights both of them being young uh, canelo alvarez himself i've been following this 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 guy for such a long time I've been following this guy since I heard his name back in um, back in 2012 and believe me you he's been in the in that game longer he's he's been he's been boxing and, and the Mexican fans knew him longer than I have I remember when he used to walk out and they called him the Mexican redhead not Canelo, the Mexican redhead. Man, that boy was young, you know. And he started building a name for himself. I was like, this guy's going to go somewhere, man. And then, unfortunately, he faced Floyd. And, you know, Floyd did what he did because it's Floyd. Floyd is a very, is, a, is, a, is an excellent boxer, a smart tactician, an excellent, you know, has, an, has, has a great IQ in boxing. You know, he beat the young Canelo. But... Canelo learned tremendous, a great deal in that fight. Funny because they say if if you are great and you lose, you are going to learn a lot. It's always victory and defeat, right? And Canelo worked and worked and worked and worked. You cannot hate him for what he has done. He he he, he bled for this, right? He bled for this. He fought for this. He worked hard for this. You know, people hate him. You know, but right now he's on he's on the correct path, whether you guys like it or not. I've I've said it over and over again. In order in order to build you up into a hardened fighter, there's a correct way to do it and there's the wrong way to do it. And Canelo is doing it the right way. Taking out these fighters one by one, working his way up one by one. He's not fighting any tomato cans left or right. Bro, this guy, he's an elite fighter fighting other fighters that are either elite fighters or B level opposition. That's who he is, and that's what he's doing. You cannot hate on him. I already, I already know who's hating on him, you know? <laughs> I like to make fun of the UK, say, hey, <laughs> To the UK, I, what is that? Uh, 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 number number three now for you guys. You guys don't have anybody else <laughs> that throwing Billy Joe Saunders in there, bro. I don't think Billy Joe Saunders could do this guy in, man. 
I don't think he could hold out for long. Billy Joe Sanders' their resume as 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 has, has me question questioning if he can do it. You know, no no matter no matter what. But UK is ready to throw Billy Joe Sanders' name in there, man. You know, but unfortunately, you guys been taking L's left and right with uh with with fighters with Canelo. But now with Anthony Joshua, it's the same thing. The young man. What what see what see say makes me is people don't understand how the accomplishment of Anthony Joshua, right? This young man started boxing extremely late, man. That to me that is that is amazing. Him him and Lawrence O'Cohen. People who box extremely late, not not say they not say with a pedigree like Andy Ruiz. Bro, no. Talking about people like Anthony Joshua and Lawrence Cody who box extremely late and have accomplished something like that is short of is, is short and amazing of a of a, 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 of a miracle. Bro. It just shows you how smart they are, the team they have behind him, be behind them. Like, come on, man! Anthony Joshua hasn't been boxing that long. What has it been like? Thirteen years now. He's been boxing. For, for maybe I'm maybe maybe a little or maybe two more to add, add to that, but the man has the man has has won the gold has been a gold medalist right, and and has and 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 has accomplished more. If you look if you look into his resume, it is it is proven that right when he when he was up against Klitschko. But just do let's do the math. People say, oh, he beat, he beat an old Klitschko, bro. I want to turn my hand and backhand the hell out of you, right? But they said, oh, he beat an old Klitschko, bro. Style, st- 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 statistically, AJ was not supposed to beat Klitschko. Statistically, I keep telling these idiots that keep mentioning, oh, he beat an old Klitschko. No, bro. He beat a very determined Klitschko. Are you kidding me? He wasn't supposed to beat Klitschko. But with only with only twenty fights in, or is it no nineteen fights in? In his nineteen professional fight, bro, these guys, these, these these fighters like Anthony Joshua, right? Go before they even fight Klitschko. That's probably like their 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 third their their, their thirty five thirty fifth fight until they get into and then they fight Klitschko. But AJ jumped in there, bro. Nineteenth fight, I believe. And for Klitschko and took him out. But let's look. Let's look on the other side of the park with Tyson Fury. He's been in the game longer than AJ, extremely long. No title defense. For, for Klitschko on his 25th defense, knowing knowing he's had enough experience, didn't take him out, but was hugging him all around. But did beat Klitschko on points. After Klitschko was trailing behind and figuring him out, after all, but he still beat him. But guess what? He still wasn't able to accomplish what AJ accomplished because Klitschko chased him for a rematch and he ran away. Right? And then that's when Klitschko, that was a very determined Klitschko. Klitschko fought AJ and AJ took him out. You can see they hate why they hate AJ. Listen, I keep saying this over and over again. If they hate you that much, that means you're destined to do more. If they hate you that much, you are destined to be great. If they if if if, if, if they're not hating you, that means you're not doing something right. If they hate you, you're doing something right. Bro, Canelo Alvarez and Anthony Joshua are on the right path, bro. That's why I'm gonna end it. Thanks, brother. I really appreciate you know your thoughts and take on this for those of you guys who are watching right now make sure you like the video share subscribe joshua of course is being hated on we know by who already you know what i mean i don't want to even go there go watch my previous videos Carlo Alvarez, on the other hand is a little bit surprising i mean you know in america the division is very clear you know divided in you know but it's just like even some mexicans don't even appreciate canelo like some mexicans you know there's of course i mean there are other people as well the two most hated boxers but yet successful it's amazing man we can't wait to see where this plays out stay blessed
stay hungry, stay humble, guys. <laughs>